Hello and welcome to Come Closer. Today I would like to share with you Psalm 139. When I was a new believer and I read this psalm, it just touched my heart so. And it really spoke volumes to me because it showed me that God saw me. And I think that's something that many of us don't understand or we want to know, does God see me? Does God know? Does God care? And I want to tell you today, beloved, yes, he does. He sees you, he knows, and he cares. And so I want to share this psalm with you today. And I, I pray that it will just touch your heart as it touched mine so many years ago and still touches my heart even today. Psalm 139, starting with verse 1, says, O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You understand my thought from afar off. You comprehend my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Wow, right there are so many powerful things right in there. But God does search us and he knows us. For there is not a word on my tongue, but behold, O Lord, you know it all together. You have hedged me behind and before and laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. I love that God has hedged us behind and before. That means he's really got us covered. Any which way you look at it, he's got us covered. And this knowledge, it is too wonderful for us. It says, it is high and I cannot attain it. That means I can barely comprehend how much God really loves me and how much he is just so, so totally there for me. And you too, beloved. And then the word of God says, where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? Go ahead, just try to run from God. If I ascend into heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the other, uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me. Beloved, there is nowhere that you can run that God is not there. I love that. I love that. There's nowhere that you can go that God is not there. If I say, surely the darkness shall fall on me, even the night shall be light about me. Indeed, the darkness shall not hide from you, but the night shines as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to you. For you have formed my inward parts. You have covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Did you know that, beloved? You are fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows very well. You see, beloved, that's my prayer for each one of us. That first of all, you know, we can say the words, yes, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. But do you really know that you're fearfully and wonderfully made? Can you get to that place where you can say in truth, and that my soul knows very well. See, God doesn't make junk. You are beautiful. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. The word of God says, and my frame was not hidden from you. When I was made in secret and skillfully wrought in the lowest parts of the earth, your eyes saw my substance being yet unformed, and in your book they all were written, the days fashioned for me, when as yet there were none of them. See, even before you were born, God saw you. God saw you in your mother's womb. God saw you. And he dec decreed and declared that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. How precious also are your thoughts to me, O God. How great is the sum of them. If I should count them, they would be more in number than the sand. When I awake, I am still with you. And then David, 
Oh, David would cry out to God when he was being chased all over by Saul who was trying to do him in. And David would say things like, Oh, that you would slay the wicked, O God. Depart from me, therefore, you bloodthirsty men. For they speak against you wickedly. Your enemies take your name in vain. Do I not hate them, O Lord, who hate you? And do I not loathe those who rise up against you? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. It's so amazing that David can go from, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made, and that my soul knows very well, to asking God to vindicate him, to save him from his enemies. And then David goes back to this point where he says, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my anxieties and see if there is any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Because you see, in the end, we don't got, want God to turn away from us. We want God to vindicate us. We, we don't want to do it ourselves. And so we ask God to show us, is there anything in our heart that needs to be taken care of? Ask God to help you examine your own heart. I think that is one of the hardest things to do as well, to examine your own heart. But to examine your heart with God is the best thing to do because I'd rather do it with Him than anybody else because I know God loves me and He's not going to hurt me. Everything He does is for my benefit. And so, beloved, I just, I just wanted to share this with you because I think this is such a beautiful psalm. It just, it just tells me that no matter where I am, God sees me. No matter where I go, whether it's high or low or to the east or to the west, God's there. I'm not alone. God sees me. And, beloved, no matter where you go, no matter what you do, God sees you, too. And he loves you. And he has said in his word that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Beloved, I pray that that becomes revelation to you. I pray that it becomes revelation to you to the point where it becomes manifested in your life. And you will know how much you are loved and cared for by the Father who loves us all. Have a blessed day, beloved. Take these thoughts with you. Marinate in them and revel in them because you are loved. Amen. Amen. Jesus, my heart is yours. I build an altar and I give you praise. My heart I place in your hands. I give to you, Lord, this offering from a heart of worship from a heart of praise I lift up your name Jesus my heart is yours I build an altar and I give you praise My heart, a place in your hands I give to you, Lord, this offering From a heart of worship From a heart of praise I lift up your name 